Hello guys, how are you? This is unplanned charting session today. And before we proceed, please click that um, subscribe button below. Interesting in the chart of SLP versus USDT. As you can see guys, the price of SLP on uh, this one. On July 13, 2021, uh, from here has dropped until today. But as you can see, guys, uh, the price of SLP maintain this M820 moving average 20 as each uh, I mean as its resistance trend ginawa niyang uh, resistance trend ang M820 so from here, after it retest, uh, this one, this, this candle, after it retest the ME20, it goes down to here and it surpass from its uh, previous low. If I will put a line. Yan. It is in 0 0.0614 and it surpass, it goes down, it break downward on uh, this one, September 21. But after that, it bounce back. So this line uh, 0. Uh, 0. 0.0614 has become a support and then after this candle this one uh, the price it goes up but after this the price goes down and down and down it retest this uh, 0 0.6 uh, 0 0.0614 uh, support line and then yesterday the price has moved up from the support area until it close to 0 0.0754 yesterday but oh i mean and the good thing is uh it also uh slightly break the uh resistance trend which is the m820 uh its resistance trend since this candle on July 28. So there is a uh, the significance is uh, the price uh, might stabilize. I mean the price might go upward, but it is not yet confirmed because. This candle for today has not yet been finished. Uh, we might have to wait until this candle for today will be confirmed. So this might be confirmed tomorrow 
morning at 8 a.m. Philippine time or GMT plus 9. If the price of uh, if if the price of the this candle will uh really break this MA twenty, so I can say that there is a good potential that the price will bounce back. That. Uh, the price may retest this area of uh, 0 0.11 something and or this uh, MA50 which is in 0 0.11 and if the price will uh, successfully break this MA50 then we can see a favorable trend for us but before we uh, but before we attach to so much excitement, we must have to uh, wait for this candle to be confirmed if this will close above MA20 or this one, this line. And for those who don't know on how to put MA20, uh, I will give you a slight tutorial today to customize MA20 guys uh, you must have to go back to its uh, original chart form and to go back you must have to click this two arrow going to each other or point pointing to each other this one, uh, uh, I mean these two arrows beside the uh, clock time. And then guys, uh, you must have to click this, this one. And then you must have to click more than click index settings then click ma then uh, in my own i already uh, customized this one and it is uh it is labeled ma1 ma2 ma3 ma4 ma5 and the value it's up to you on uh i mean the value is customizable meaning you can change to your uh desired number uh for me in a1 i put 9 for in a9 uh moving average number two i put ma20 because uh, ma20 uh, for some traders uh, they use this ma20 for a uh, a bit faster move faster movement and this in my moving average number 3 I put 200 because uh, most of the uh, tradable stocks or 
in the crypto world also uh, uses a moving average 200 as a long-term support and long-term resistance and MA to MA50 or moving average 50 uh, uses to determine the price uh, if the price breaks above MA50 meaning the price uh, is in a medium uh, is going to be in the upward movement of in a medium term so now you you know how to change ma20 uh, ma200 or ma9 all of these guys are uh, the same moving average and it it is up to you on how you will use this uh, numbers into your uh, trading strategy for the lines you can choose uh, as, I mean a thin line or a bit bigger line or a much larger line but for me I choose the thinner line confirm after you click confirm click back the arrow and then it's done so as you can see guys the price of slp versus usdt now is in 0 0.0740 um in its four hour chart let's uh take a look and it's for our chart also the lowest area or the low of this uh, for our candle has already reached the ma9 and it bounced it hit the ma9 and it bounced and then now it is forming a green candle but uh, still this candle has not yet been confirmed so let's see if this will uh, really break this ma20 moving average So good luck guys and good luck for tomorrow. Hope you can use this video and our discussion for your uh, trading decision about this is LP versus USDT token. And I hope also that you have subscribed in my channel so you can have to receive more updates from me. Thank you.